Hey guys, Nexi here, welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna test the T8 Smart Balancing Charger. Now this little thing is a beast. This is a 1000 watt charger. It can charge up to 8 cells. And the best part is it can balance the cells with a 2.2 amps balancing current. And that's more than 4 times than other chargers that I came across. So let's open the box and check it out. Let me just take this plastic foil and open the package. And inside we got some stickers, ISDT stickers, and the battery go stickers as well. Next we got a quick user guide, and we got some specs. So the input voltage is DC 12 till 40 volt, maximum input current is a 35 amp, maximum charging power is 1000 watt, this charging power is 20 watt, it can charge and balance 8 cells, and the balancing current is 2.2 amps, and that's a very good because most of the chargers that I came across they have only 500 milliamp balancing current and if you charge some huge batteries it can take a lot of time to balance them so this should be four times as faster and this charger also has usb so you can charge your phone in the same time while charging your batteries at 2.1 amp rate and that's a very cool and that was the quick guide one side is english and other side is the chinese and more in a package is this screen protector that you should apply to save your screen from scratches and now let's take the charger let me just unwrap from this plastic bag and take this off from the screen and finally we can see the charger it's a very small compact unit buttons are pretty good it has this glossy look so we have to apply the screen shield this is the input XT60 connector and it supports battery go as well you can see the small pin in the middle next to the XT60 i input there is a 3.5 mm input as well for upgrading the firmware and next there is a USB port so you can charge your phone with it. On the right side there is a 8 cells balancing port and the output XT60i connector. Down there I can see the heatsink through these cooling ribs. On the other side there is a fan so this side is definitely intake and this other side is outtake. And on the bottom there is a small sticker with a serial number and some specification of this device. And now let me find some power supply and I'm gonna apply this screen protector and then we're gonna test this charger. All right, I applied the screen protector on the screen of the charger and now let's test this unit. To power this charger, I'm gonna use my power supply, but you can use everything from 12 till 40 volt. My power supply is 48 volt, 12.5 amp, 600 watt total, but I adjust the voltage right here down to 40 volt so I can use with this charger. Let me just plug this XT60 connector. And let's switch on the power supply. All right, the charger are boot now. This is the main screen. And here we can see all the voltages. When we connect our LiPo, for example, we can see all the cells from one till eight. And here we see the current of charging or discharging. We can use this wheel pad to go up, down, back, start and stop the function it depends what you're doing if you press and hold the middle button you will go to the system settings and for example if you press now down then we come to this screen this is the working info screen we can see the input voltage it's 40.7 volt the temperature of the unit is 29 degrees and here we see how many watt are we've been pulled for power supply since the last boot and here i believe it's the how many batteries we have charged since the last boot. Now if we press on right, here it's our task settings. Here we can switch and change the battery type. So you get everything from the lithium high volt, lithium polymer, lithium ion, lithium phosphate, PB or lead acid batteries, nickel metal hard drive or nickel metal cadmium. All right. If we switch here for the lithium high volt, we can set uh, set voltage 4.35 is the recommended, but you can you can lower the voltage, for example, if you want to save the cell's life, or you can go higher to 4.4. So I will just switch here and show you each of the battery type. So this is a lithium polymer, and we can set the voltage for 4.15 to 4.25. If we switch now to the lithium ion, so 4.1 is a nominal charging voltage 
4.05 is a minimum, maximum 4.15. And now here, lithium phosphate, 3.6, 3.7. Here, for example, if you want to charge your 12 volt car battery, the cell voltage in a car battery, there is a six cells, so you have to change here to six. And then recommend that is 2.4 volt, but minimum you can go to 2 volt. So this is the charging setup for your lead acid 12 volt car battery. But keep in mind, for example, if you have the car battery, they don't like to be charged at high current. So the 55 amp hour car battery should be charged at 5.5 amp. They like to be charged at slow rate. And now if we go back to last section, the cell count is automatic, so you only need to set the current. Here we, you can change your detection for 3 millivolt to 15 millivolt. All right, and that was the task settings. Now if you press the middle button and hold it, now we are in a system settings. Here you can change the language, English, Dutch, French, and so on. You can share the firmware using the ISDT link that you plug right here. Here we can go to the system information. It will show us what is the version of the charger. So the hardware version is 1.003 and the firmware version is 1.0017. I believe this is the last one uh, in a moment taking this video. If you press here, the charger will self check. It takes around 20, 25 seconds. Here we can change the volume of the of the clicking sound or of the tone, beeping tone. I'm gonna put it on the medium. This is a completion tone. So when your charger is done charging, you can select that only beeps once when it's done, or you can set to repeat and it will beep every minute. I'm gonna select single here. Backlight, right now it's on high. You can make it to medium or low. I'm going to put it on the middle. Maximum input power. So you can select everything from 50 watt up to 1100 watt. I'm going to select maximum power because we're going to test it up later and maximum current. So this is, for example, pretty convenient if you have the power supply that is weak or doesn't have the capability of pulling the full current to this charger so you can limit and save your power supply. Here it's a minimum input voltage. You can set everything from 12 up to 40 volt. This is also good for example if you're in a field and you want to charge your LiPo with other LiPo's batteries or with light acid battery for example so you can limit the voltage and the charger will stop charging so you can protect your batteries for over discharging. All right, and that was the system settings, but I want to show here something else. If you go to the system information and you press and hold middle button three times, then you're going to access the factory parameter and here you can factory settings your charger. You can calibrate pretty much everything from input, output or every single cells at 100 of millivolt and you can unlock the different languages. But I don't recommend changing any of these settings, especially calibration, if you don't know what you're doing. And now let's plug some LiPos. First I'm gonna plug this 4S Racing Boat LiPo. I made this connector from DIN till XT60. Let me just plug it right there. The minus go down. So the LiPo right now is in storage mode, we're gonna charge it. So we're gonna change to LiPo 4.2. All right, sense count four, current. All right, this is the 2.2 amp hour battery, but I want to charge this at 2C rate, so that's gonna be 4.4. So I don't wait that long. This is only for testing purposes, and we're gonna put on charge. All right, so we are charging at 2C rate right now. This is a 4.4 amp. We can see this is a LiPo 4S. 15.1 volt is right now. 
the main voltage of the battery. We can see how many amperes we're pushing in the battery, milliampers. We can see the time right here, and right now it's charging. Cell voltages are right here. If you press down, we can see the cell's impedance, everything from 1 till 4. This is because this is a 4S. And if you press here, we can see that we are pulling 71 watt or 73 watt from power supply. And the 67 watt is going to a battery. 45 degrees is the temperature of the unit. And like I said, here we're seeing total watt hour from our power supply, from the last boot. All right, I'm gonna sit here and watching the charging process, and then I'm gonna report back. You can hear the fan now, so the temperature when it reach 60 degrees, the fan is turned on, and then the slowly, as the temperature decrease, the fan speed decrease as well. And at 55 degrees, the fan is completely off. All right, I've been sitting here for the last 34 minutes, and I've been monitoring what the charger was doing through the whole charging process. At the first, screen was orange, and that means the fast charging was on. And when the screen turns from orange to green, that means that difference between each of the cell is less than 20 millivolts. At that state, the charging is pretty much complete and you can take the battery out and use it if you're in a hurry. But for example, if you now leave it even more for deep balancing, then the screen will, will be on the green and then it will turn from green to blue. At that state, the difference between each of the cell is less than 10 millivolts. So that's pretty cool. So you can choose to deep balance your battery or not, depending on your time. And one more cool feature is that you can charge your phone while charging your batteries as well in the same time. Here you can plug your USB cable and then you plug it to your phone. Right there. And you can charge your phone as well. That's pretty cool. And now we're going to test the full power of this charger. So that's a 30 amp. I connect three of my 4S LiPos. This one is a 4,500 milliamp, and these two are 2,200 milliamp. It should be enough just for a quick test of full current capable of this charger, and that's a 3 amp. I also connect the watt meter, so I will monitoring my power supply, and here we are. So 3 amp, start. All right. We are at 10 amps right now. 15. 20. 25. I almost hit the maximum power on my power supply. And this is a 3 amp. And the fan is on. All right, so the charger is definitely capable of doing 3 amps. full power there on the fan the temperature is 66 degrees all right i'm going to i'm going to stop it because the wires get pretty hot. So the charger is definitely capable of doing 3 amps. But I don't recommend doing this to your LiPos, you will damage them. Of course, if you have many of those, then you can do it. But this is only for testing purposes. And that was the T8 Smart Charger. I'm really impressed with this thing. This thing is a beast. So small, so compact, 1000 watt of power. It takes up to 8 cells. The balancing current between the cell is 2.2 amps compared to many of other chargers who only takes 500 milliamps. Other than that, nice features, nice screen, you can charge your phone with it, you can upgrade the firmware, input up to 40 volts, very impressed with ICDT charger, especially on this one. 
and I definitely can recommend it. Other than that, I have a few other products for the same company. I have these battery balances as well, very nice products. And I have these battery checkers as well. And if you guys wanna check them, then look for the links in the video description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I catch you next time. Bye bye.